Welcome back guys, it is Mobile Band Wednesday and my channel, if you are new to this series, we've actually spoken about two other videos about how to start your own mobile tire band business. Now we have talked about how to make a business plan and today we will be talking about how to actually build a van and what your van should include. <clears throat> now this video may actually save you thousands of dollars and all I ask in return is for you to smash that like button and consider subscribing very close, I'm very close to the 1,000 subscribers and with your help, I'll get there faster. Now, in this video, I'll be answering the following questions. So, number one, should I build my, uh, one myself? Should I build my van myself or have a professional build one for me? Second question is, what is the price difference between building one and getting one built? The third question will be, what are the things my mobile van must have, such as tire machines, equipment, and I will actually share all the equipment I use. And then finally, the fourth question to answer will be, if I were to start my mobile van today, knowing what I know today, what would I do differently? So let's start with the main question, and that is, should you build your own van or have it built? Now, we had our van built by a company called Custom Updates in California, and it costed us $55,000 to build, and we supplied the vehicle. They did an excellent job. However, if you are a person who is familiar with home improvement and electrical, then you may save a significant amount of money by building one yourself. So in short, it really depends. If you have someone who can build a van for you, see how much the person would charge you and simply you can compare how much custom outfits would charge you and then uh, go from there. Now, if you were going to invest in a franchise that required you to put, you know, 175,000 just to start <coughs> go mobile tires, uh, then paying a company like custom outfits may actually be a better alternative. Now, question two, what is the price difference between building one and getting one built? Now, this is where the things get very interesting because I talked briefly about this in the last question we just talked about, but in summary, we paid $55,000 and this was two years ago. So with the current situation we're in, I wouldn't be surprised if the van costs now $65,000 to build. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna get a list of all the things that the van has, which you, or which will be the answer to your question number three. Remember what are all the things the van should have? and I'll go over them and cost each item. We will then sum it up and at the end compare how much it comes out to, okay? This is gonna be pretty exciting. So I'm gonna be sharing my screen now and we'll go over that. All right guys, so this is a list of all the things that we need. So be sure to take a screenshot or do whatever you want. I also have another part right here but I'm gonna go over each and, one of, uh, each and one of these items and we're gonna go over and the cost and how much I came with them. Now, I do apologize if you guys hear some background noise uh, because I am working currently at the shop. I'm not working, I'm not clocked in, so I'm not that type of employee where I'm just doing YouTube videos while I'm working. However, uh, you know, I'm, I'm working in our conference room and there might be some impact guns and all that stuff, but just look at it more as of ambience music, I guess, right? Especially because we're talking about mobile vans and tire business. So let's go ahead and start. And the first thing we want to buy is framing and insulation. So I found this bag of 200 square feet, big bag of insulation. I'm putting 270 bucks. I just put 200 bucks. You know, I don't think again, this is just so that your a van doesn't get as hot. The second part we're going to be buying is white aluminum interior walls. So this is right here, what you guys see. And this is just to cover the van, as you guys can see in this picture, just so that you can kind of, you know, make it nice and clean and it doesn't look, you know, all ugly. So definitely this is something you want to use because, you know, you will be splattering stuff and it keeps the van nice and organized. So I added $250 for the aluminum interior walls. The next thing for the floor, we're gonna be using a heavy duty diamond plate flooring, which again, in this case, it uh, should look something like this right here. Uh, you know, it's pretty much based on amount of space. I put $400. The next thing we're gonna be using is a 100 amp load center. I put that as a 201 expense. It's gonna look something like this, guys. Again, you guys could go much more expensive or you could just go with something a little less basic. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about is a toolbox. Uh, toolbox I added for $150. You could go with any toolbox as you guys saw right there. I had 
just any general toolbox works. Now, the next thing that we need will be an auxiliary storage space. I really don't know what that even is. I found this part of steel metal, I guess, it's just for us to put either the batteries or something, but I mean, it's kind of expensive, so just keep that in mind. And I put that as $800 expense. The next thing that I think it's very important is the LDPI explosion proof lights. These are actually very useful, especially at night. The ones my van has is something like this one right here. So again, I put for two lights, 700. A minimum of two convenience outlets. Again, these are just your regular uh, plugs, uh, you know, for you to charge stuff. So, you know, those should not be very expensive. I put only $100 and I'm being quite generous right there. Now, plumbing and air chunks, you know, for the air compressors and the air system so that you could connect or you, all your guns and stuff. So you will just need a whole bunch of, you know, connectors and so on and so forth. If you're not familiar with all this stuff, guys, maybe you do want to watch a different video. I'm just kind of going in very, very quick summary on the parts that you need. So the other thing that you do need is a generator. In this case, when we were getting ours built, we had the option to go with a gas generator, a seven kilowatt generator. We went with the solar one. So again, just searching for a comparable one, um, I found something like this right here. As you can see, 2,500, it comes with the generator and the solar panels. As long, I guess it's a seven kilowatt generator, you should be good enough for the machines and equipment that I'll be displaying or uh, talking about this in this specific uh, video. Now, the other thing you wanna need is a one, um, I guess, horsepower or one and a half horsepower compressor with 30 tank. Um, I actually did not get that one. For some reason, they installed a 10 um, gallon compressor, I guess, because of the space. And this is exactly the same one I have. It's an Oasis. And again, this is just so that in case you're building a van exactly like mine or similar to mine, this is a van that I'm using or that they built um, for me. So the I put, you know, 2600 for the air compressor. Custom tire rack, guys, honestly, just 200 because that's just only a pieces of steel that you could weld. I mean, if you want to get fancy, you could buy an actual rack mount, but you know, you could just get some pieces of metal and just do it that way. So um, I put 200 bucks just for the materials that you might need. A uh, wheel weight storage, you know, 200 bucks. This is, uh, you know, just to put all your wheel weights. So something like this, you know, especially if you're going to be driving around, you don't want all your tools to kind of be all over the place. So with that said let's see where are we at wheel storage now the seven piece spare toolkit this actually does come in handy especially if you're a mobile van some people don't have their spare keys and so it's important that you have these with you so that way if you're working on a chevy or a mercedes uh, well any sort of vehicle that has a spare and they don't have their key you could just access it so i just put 100 bucks uh in there now the other thing we do need is a eye wash kit and a first aid kit, um, you guys will see here. The eye wash kit is just, you know, if chemicals salon, you know, go flying into your eyes, you have something to wash yourself over, especially because you don't have any water uh, or anything like that. The one I have in my van is this one right here. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. It's only 70 bucks. And then I didn't show the first aid kit because, you know, that's just normal general first aid kit. Now these guys did add a MSDS and that's just some safety material data sheets, uh, you know, some, some, I guess, compliance to be in compliance with something. So if you want to make your van legit, make sure to add that MSDS. I just put 80 bucks for that. A fire extinguisher, again, I put 70 bucks for uh, one fire extinguisher. Um, I guess I did not put the, the picture here, but you, you guys get it. You know, it's just a fire extinguisher. Uh, the next thing is going to be two jacks. I prefer the ones they gave me was a three ton. I honestly prefer a four ton jack. So, you know, but normally the ones that you're going to be most commonly finding are going to be the three ton jacks and they're going to be roughly 400 bucks, probably less if you buy them. If you're in the U.S. and you have a Harbor Freight tools uh, near you, uh, those are probably like 200 bucks. So, you know. I still put for the jacks, uh, where is it right here, 800 bucks, then custom jack racks, really that all that is, is just for you to place the jack somewhere in the van, nice and clean. You could build that yourself too, or you could buy one however you want. Uh, then we have jack stands, you do want those because sometimes you won't have enough jacks and so you will have to use the jack stands, which looks something like this. Now also you want to have the jack stands, uh, you know, wall rack so you could put your jack stands nice and organized. Last thing or one of the last things that you'll need is a fire hose uh, or air hose, I mean fire hose. You'll need a air hose and so that right there, 
Let's see, I don't think I took a picture of that here. Um, yep, so here it is, a 50 inch um, air hose. So you could do something like this. You could buy it with the ream if you want it, or with the reel, I mean. Uh, or you could just buy the retractable hose on its own. It might be actually a lot more affordable if you just buy the hose. In this case, I put on buying the reel as well, so 600 bucks. And then a mounted fan for when it gets hot, uh, you know, 100 bucks. The next things, which are the juicy parts, we need the tire changer, which is worth $12,930. That's this tire changer right here. This is the part number, guys, if you need it, if you want it. This is the one you see on my videos. This is the one I use, and it's on my van, and it works with everything we got. Uh, the next thing is going to be the tire balancer. It's actually a manual tire balancer and electric, so it runs through electricity, and then you have to spin it on your own, as you guys have seen in my videos. It's almost $5,000. And then the last things, uh, you know, they just uh, put a whole bunch of stuff that you need. Obviously, air impact guns, you know, tire repair kits, so on and so forth. So I'm just putting $2,000 on all that miscellaneous. Stuff that you do want to keep in mind that I want to lay out, it's very important for you to have, is this uh, cordless impact wrench I bought, Snap-on. It's great quality. It has a lifetime warranty as far as I'm concerned. It's a little pricey for sure, but it's definitely great because it's electric, no cords needed, and it's strong. So that's great. The next thing you do want to get as well is a socket, um, you know, sockets for you to be able to work on vehicles and then make sure they're good quality. You know, you're going to be using them every day. And then finally, you want to buy something like a seal repair kit, you know, where you have patches, plugs and all that stuff. So obviously we, you need more stuff, but, you know, I guess this is in general uh, all the stuff that you will need. So the total came out to $30,971 and we paid a total of $55,000. Now I do think to be fair, a build like this may require several days to work on. So comparing just what costs of the material is just would be an unfair comparison to custom outfits in, in this case. So we're gonna set a specific uh, hourly wage of $25 per hour. And to the worker that's actually building the van, we're gonna say, hey, you know what, if you finish this van in five days we're gonna be paying you 40 hours which adds a thousand dollars worth of labor and then we're gonna give them a five thousand dollar bonus if they finish on time again we're gonna add that sum to a six thousand dollars to the thirty thousand we already had but <clears throat> the company building the van actually pockets a nice eighteen thousand twenty nine dollar gross profit on this build now please keep in mind that these are just uh, assumptions, right? I don't have any proof, so I have no way of knowing if this is accurate. However, I'm going to say it's roughly 80 to 90% accurate based on my perspective. So to answer this, if you have someone who can build a van for less than $10,000, then it will be a better route to go that way because keep in mind, going that route of playing or paying someone else who you have not worked with before or has never built a van comes with risks. So it may take longer for the van to build. It may come defective in some way. At the end of the day, you are paying a premium to when working with a company such as Custom Outfits because of their expertise and knowledge in the industry, right? If you're working with someone new, maybe that person doesn't know exactly, might put the machines in the wrong way, so on and so forth. But again, it's still possible. Now, there are other companies that build mobile vans such as Bush specialty vehicle. So again, you might want to compare, you know, other companies to custom outfits and then get maybe multiple quotes, you know, get some bids. Now, the last question of the video I do um, want to answer is, what would I do differently knowing what I know today if I were to start my mobile van business today? Um, I would have gone different with a different vehicle. So I currently have a Ram Pro Master 2500 high roof long uh, bed, I guess. And instead, I would have went with a chassis, uh, Ram Promaster still, but the chassis, and I would have added a bigger box on the chassis itself. Then I would have gotten someone to build the van for me, and I'll purchase the equipment needed. So again, I most likely probably would, would have not gone with custom outfits. But again, the fact is that when you are starting a business, um, for me, you want to start with the lowest amount of overhead and if you're financing a $55,000, you know, 60 month term uh, payment on a build up, it's going to be adding a thousand to $1,500 monthly payment that if I can somehow lower that to $500 to $800 a month, it's going to help me a lot, especially at the beginning.
if you have a specific budget and you already have some cash and 55,000 or 65,000 dollars seem like a logical and reasonable uh, amount and you will have the money to pay for the band regardless of the band's productivity you know for at least two years so if you're like I, I have money you know and I have a plan and uh, for two years I don't need to make money because I have the money already set aside to pay for the monthly payments then I would go with the bill because it's just much easier. Let them handle it. You get your van and you're done. You're ready to start. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know where you think uh, or where you're thinking of starting your mobile van. I've gotten comments about uh, people starting their mobile van shop in Jamaica, in Mexico, in California. So let me know in the comment section below. And also, if you have more questions, please feel free to let me know. Reach out to me via Instagram, via email, via Telegram. Next week, we will be talking more about how to find and get customers for your mobile van. So be sure to subscribe and set the notifications bell button to on so that you're notified every time I post a video. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be safe.